Hi everyone, I'm Kabe from the Center for Academic Communication at the University of Victoria. Today we're going to talk about the main characteristics and qualities of academic writing. What is academic writing and how is it different from other types of writing? Well, stick around and in this short video, we will review the top six qualities of academic writing together. The first important quality of academic writing is that it's guided by research. In other words, any piece of academic writing must attempt to answer specific research questions. There is usually a main research question, which guides your paper, and a number of secondary questions that explore other aspects of the same topic. For example, if your main research question is about the effects of playing video games on children, you can form your secondary research questions by asking about the effects of this activity on their health, social relationships, and educational success. For more on this topic, you can watch our video on the process of forming strong research questions. Once you have your research questions, you start answering them by forming an argument which is made based on evidence, logic, and the findings and opinions of other researchers in the field. This means that academic writing needs to be evidence-based, logical, and written in response to the larger scholarly conversation. Let's break this down. In forming your arguments, you need to refer to facts, data, and information that has been collected through experiments done either by you or other researchers. This makes your writing evidence-based and is a strong way of supporting your claims. In some other types of academic writing, your argument is established more on logical reasoning and theoretical interpretations rather than empirical data. In these types of writing, which are more common in the humanities, you support your opinion through showing the causal relationships between ideas and how one point logically leads to another. Here, like in evidence-based writing, you're writing with benefit from regular references to other scholars and their opinions. As you see, in both methods, you're constantly referring to what others have said. By doing this, you're actually taking part in an ongoing scholarly conversation, a conversation among other researchers in your field. What you write should always consider what others have already discussed, just like when you are in a real-life conversation. When you're talking to people, you can not only express your own ideas without listening and responding to what they say, otherwise you'd simply be irrelevant. The next qualities of academic writing are originality and significance. The questions you ask and the way you answer them need to provide original contributions to the field you're working on. An original contribution does not necessarily mean that you introduce entirely new ideas. Most of the time, you only offer something new about something old. Similarly, you can establish the significance of your work just by showing how your writing adds to the bigger scholarly conversation. But don't forget, it's not enough to think about how your work makes original contributions. Make sure you highlight the originality and significance of your research in your writing. This usually appears in the rationale part of your introduction. Use signal phrases like, answering this research question is important because, or the significance of this study is that, and then make sure you clearly explain why readers should be interested in what you have to say. Okay, so far we have talked about the higher level issues of academic writing, how to start your paper by asking original and significant research questions, and how to base your argument on logic and or evidence collected by you or other scholars. But what about the actual writing itself? What should the paragraphs, sentences, and words in your paper be like? Stay tuned for our future videos where we will talk about the development, organization, and tone of academic writing. I hope this quick introduction gives you a clear idea about the expectations and requirements of this genre. Please feel free to contact us to discuss this and much more about academic communication. We're looking forward to hearing from you. Bye. To learn more tips and tricks to help improve your academic communication skills, visit the University of Victoria Center for Academic Communication website for workshops and other resources. You can also book an appointment with one of our tutors by clicking the link in the description below. Good luck, and see you soon!